what is going on guys today i have a video for you and today guys going to be covering a little investment method guys um for an sbc which we should be seeing in the upcoming week now this is going to be based on the africa cup of nations um this is a pretty obviously a pretty big tournament for the african uh nations obviously and uh, there are quite a few investment methods that we could approach with um, because I'm pretty confident there is going to be an SBC. I'm quite unsure about what SBC we may see um, and what you know all the requirements are. But I'm just going to go through around 15 players that you could look to invest in. Now, <coughs> apologies with the cough. So the main aspect, guys, what I'm going to say is buy the highest rated player or try to buy the highest rated player of each nation now this isn't always possible but there's always a possibility so we're going to begin with algeria now the highest rated player for algeria is slimani which is an 83 rated you can pick him up for 1k um, and there's a possibility that he could rise to one and a half 2k by the time the sbc comes out if we go to uh, another one, for example, Mali, we have, um, if I can type in his name correctly, Czech Diabate. Now, he is going for literally 650 coins. You'll be able to sell him on for maybe 1 to 1 half K. Now, for those... Uh, for those nations which don't have many gold players or that have one gold player these are especially the big ones that you want to invest in uh, for example gabon who are the ones that are hosting the tournament the highest rated player is Aubameyang. but next you have lamina who you can really easily pick up for 850 to 900 coins you pick him up there's barely any risk and there's there's a chance that if an SBC comes on him, he's going to be rising up to 2,000 coins. Um, if we look at another one, for example, we look at uh, this guy right here. He is, there's there's a complete lack of his nation in the game. I'm trying to think what nation. Uh, Zimbabwe. So they're in the Africa Cup of Nations. He is the only gold player from Zimbabwe. There's like six of them. So you pick this guy up for 350 coins, you see there at 400, if you can pick him up for 350, you know, there's literally no risk in um, in buying him. And then if his card is necessary for an SBC, you're, this card will rise to like two to three to 4,000 coins. You'll be quite surprised. Let me just give you another example. We'll go with uh, Kabore. Um, there is... <coughs> can't quite remember again what nationality he is but charles gabore um you know 400 coins and burkina faso an sbc comes on him you're in pot luck because if we go to burkina faso right here and you you just click search literally they're all silver and then you'll have obviously the occasional gold um, like Kone, Kabore, you know, either one, I, like I said, I'd go of the highest rated, but there's some easy profit to me ba to be made, guys. So, especially for this one, I'd look for nations which don't have many gold players, and if that's the case, get the highest rated gold player, or if there's only silvers in that nation, get the highest rated silver for as cheap as you can. It's a low, uh, low risk, high reward method, guys. Really easy to do. I'm going to complete this probably over the pat well over the coming days but nevertheless guys if you found this useful as a good training tip drop a massive like subscribe if you haven't already or if you're new and i catch you guys on my next video